హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ప్రశాంత్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ సో వీ ఆర్ ద పైతాన్ రిక్వెస్ట్ రెస్ట్ ఏపీ ఆటోమేషన్ సిరీస్ సో ఇన్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ఉన్న ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఓకే ప్రీవియస్లీ వీ స్టడీ అబౌట్ ఆల్ ద బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ హౌ టు గెట్ అప్ హౌ టు ఇన్స్టాల్ అప్ రిక్వెస్ట్ గెట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ పోస్ట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు నెక్స్ట్ లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ ఏపీ ఆటోమేషన్ కాల్ పై టెస్ట్ సో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ అ ఫై టెస్ట్ ఫ్రేమ్ వర్క్ ఇన్ ద ఏపీ ఆటోమేషన్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఫార్ దట్ వీ ఇన్స్టాల్ ద ఫై టెస్ట్ in your project okay so for that click on the terminal once you open the terminal once click on the terminal type pip install pytest so it take couple of minutes to install see this it's installed everything okay so right now we are going to create a new file so i'm going to right click right click new python file i'm going to give a name like this is the test demo okay this is the file so in this as usual our basic setups so first i need to import the pi test next i need to import the request okay so two things one is pi test another is request so in this i'm going to write the first test case so dev but there is a very important when you going to give a name test case name so it should start with the test keyword either starting or ending with the test keyword test after you can give any name so i'm going to give like get request get request validation or something else so i'm giving a request validation okay so in this method so first we need to we need a header so header equal to so i'm going to create a one json part so in this first content type content type as application slash json okay this is headers ready so i am going to give a get request so for the request this is the base url base url base url is so this is a website and this is the my base url okay so after that i am going to show you get request so in the get request if i send a single user like if i send this means get request so this will bring the response as 200 and it will give this data you got it right this is the overall so what i am going to do this is the path so i am going to give response equal to request dot get request url equal to it's a string so i need to pass base url plus so i need to pass this so it will make a string we don't want to give us if you're giving only base url you don't want to give a mention a string but if you want to mention means that means it's a you are adding two concurrent two strings after that headers headers equal to header okay so we are passing the headers okay cool right so all things are done so here first thing what is the validation i need to verify the status code is coming 200 or not so in the py test we need to use the assert method so i will teach you the what is assert in the coming videos but here we are going to verify 200 equal to equal to what response dot status so it will verify the status code okay suppose you want the entire json means so for that i am going to print that what is the print now response response dot text so it will print all the things which is coming in the uh, in the response body okay so i'm going to see this when i put test now it will the green icon will come if the green icon didn't come in something we done a mistake actually okay so in the terminal first i'm going to clear this terminal cl a clear after clearing i'm going to type py test so when i run a py test it will search in the entire project where and all the name the method name starts the test so then it will take it and it run it you see this it is it take this project but there is an error that's we can look to but 
So you understanding it takes that. Okay. So it's what is the error? So in the headers, it is passing as headers. Session records got an unexpected error called headers. So the name is headers, I think. Here also headers, right? That's why spelling error. So right now is fine. So I removed the head R. So headers. So this is the key, and we need to pass the header which we created. Okay. So I'm going to run again. It got again failed. So the what is I got? I got a 400 bad request because when you're checking here in the request get request, it passed. Okay, something is error in the URL. Okay, it happened in the last class as well. Plus the string. Okay, so it got passed. So I removed that uh, one slash and I put at this. Okay. So thanks for watching. So you can also try the PyTest. So tomorrow we are going to important topics coming like how to pass the parameters, what is called fixtures. That is the main thing, and how to generate a report. So this and all we will see in the coming uh, days in the series. We have another couple of days. Today is the eighth day, so we have nine and ten. So in this nine and ten, I will do it the remaining two things. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.